Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing really well. Welcome back to House Flipper and this is sort of like the speed build uh, first sort of speed buildy episode for the opposite homes that we're doing where I said that one of them is going to be like sort of gothic and then the other one is going to be um, just like really bright pastel and I don't know maybe a bit obnoxiously bright um so in this episode I finish off pretty much the master bedroom and the other actually I kind of pretty much finish off the whole house almost for the gothic house there's just some little like knickknack bits that I want to add in now I'm calling it gothic house and it may not be like gothic or whatnot to some of you which is fine but I done my best with what I could do with what House Flipper offers and honestly I think I did a pretty good job. Obviously lots of um lots of use of the black paint and darker stuff around and I think I did I think I did a pretty alright job. I've got some like little poster things and knickknack stuff to go in and add um to make it look a little bit more homey i guess um i'm going to be utilizing a lot of the halloween things for the gothic house just because you know they're more of the spooky kind and there's not very much um there's not very many darker um i don't know how you would call it like there's not very many dark aesthetic like knickknack bits that um house Flipper has to offer which is absolutely fine because this is just like it's not all the time that I'm gonna be doing a house like this so I'll make do with what it's got and I think like I said for what I have done it looks pretty cool please let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree if you like it um if you don't like it if you think there's something that I could do better there will probably be another episode yeah maybe another two episodes for this season maybe unless the next episode or series should i say like not mini series uh the next episode may possibly have a reveal in it and if i can't fit the reveal in it then um it will the reveal will be like in the third episode because i've got the garden to do i kind of really don't know what to do for the gothic garden i think i might just make it very bushy and maybe a little bit overgrown sort of but this house I really like so the master bedroom has the ensuite which um, I'm doing at the moment I added in a red towel just to give it a little bit of color because I thought the main colors I would use for this are the darker ones um, for choosing colors for like knickknack items like the towels and mugs and stuff like that I feel like they could have dark uh, colours like they could have a nice like maroon red or a very dark purple or something like that but it's not the end of the world it's not like the biggest thing like a, I done what I done the best that I thought um looked good and I'm really quite happy with how it turned out I didn't expect to get the first like house which is the gothic one pretty much done in this whole speed build so yeah the mass bedroom and the ensuite is done the uh, like family bathroom i guess is done as well so i changed the shower out in the master bedroom to the corner one because i thought it looked better and then the so like family bathroom has a bath in it and you know obviously a sink and some storage and i also make another bedroom for this one which has a sort of gaming setup i feel like with that one though I do decide to put the bed over by the windows and the gaming setup in the corner as you come through the door. You'll be able to see it in a little bit in the video, but I feel like I may swap them around and I may swap, I may put the like gaming area in front of the window and then have the bed as you come through the door, but I'm not sure. But the master bedroom was pretty big, so I decided to have a little seating area. Originally, I wanted two chairs because I thought, you know, husband and wife could just like chill out together, and whatnot. But I really couldn't get it to look nice how I wanted it, so I ended up settling for one chair and a like a little shelf. I might go back in and change the shelf to black, and then obviously we'll be able to fill it with knickknack stuff like books and vases and um like oh what are they called like plant pots and stuff so the 
I put two bedside tables in as well and I also put in two dressers because sometimes when I'm doing the bedrooms I completely forget about like they need a place to like a wardrobe area for clothes and stuff. I done that with the next bedroom in the sort of gothic house. I completely forgot about a wardrobe so that I added that in like last minute. Uh, but yeah, so the mass bedroom, the bathroom, the family bathroom and the other bedroom upstairs as well as the whole landing area is completely done like I said other than knickknack stuff and then I do move on to the living room for this house as well as I think I do a little bit more to the kitchen I add in like a table and some stuff in there I sort of have I think I started to build it in the first video like a little pantry area which I'm gonna stock up with like some tins and stuff to make it look a little bit lived in I would go crazy and f like completely fill it all <laughs> um but I don't think I'll do that I think I will um I think I'll just put some tins in there and make it look a bit lived in and stuff like that and the living room for this house is probably the darkest room and I think it's the darkest and the smallest other than like the bathroom. I choose to go for a nice like red couch and then I put the TV on the wall. I use two TVs to kind of emphasize that it's like a, a really big, um, a really big TV. And we finish off the breakfast bar and everything like that. I have put on a painting in the living room wall. You guys will see all this uh, throughout the video. I hope that this video isn't too long. It was two hours worth. Kind of like I've kind of smushed down. I hope the speed again is okay for you guys. Um, if it is too quick then do let me know. Um, and if you think it's okay and stuff like that. Or if you think it could be quicker then let me know but yeah i choose a red couch and two tvs to make it look like a bigger tv the living room like i said it's quite small but it's i think it's kind of cozy i add in a nice rug and stuff and then the hallway for the room uh yeah for like entering the house uh, i make that nice and dark i did originally go for this dark blue i think it was a cobalt color but i really didn't like it i felt like it didn't go with it at all so i ended up changing it also towards the end of this video i do start a little bit on the really bright kind of like i pastel house um and the colors for this there's so many more colors for the pastel sort of like bright house to choose from than there is the dark house in my opinion anyway i feel like there's a lot more colors that can be used for a really nice like bright looking uh pastel unicorn house i guess that we'll call it um yeah so i use a lot of the pinks and blues for the living room and again i add in a um I add in a poster, like a painting thing of this nice like pink stuff, uh, which I think goes very nice with the whole aesthetic. I sort of have a little bit of an entranceway for the pink house because I think I might do the outside of the house. I think I might paint the outside of the houses as well. So one will be black and the other will be like nice bright pink or whatnot because I think that'll definitely show you guys that they're completely different neighbors but they get on in an ideal world I guess I don't know so thank you all so so much for watching this video you can see points that I've spoken about throughout and I hope you enjoy it if you have any ideas or whatnot then let me know in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys in the next one take care bye Wow.
Wow.